Good day everyone and good day Mr. Jonathan. My name is Kenneth D. Velasquez from Section 12A and a representative from the last group. So today I will be showing you a sample meal preparation and presentation for diabetic diet. Simply said, this diet is eating the healthiest foods in moderation and adhering to regular meal schedule. A diabetic diet is a nutritious, low-fat, and low-calorie eating plan that is naturally rich in nutrients. Fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are essential components. So, in this video, you will not just be witnessing any preparation or presentation, but also, I will be serving this sample breakfast meal to a real diabetic client, which will be my aunt, Atalus. How are you today? I'm fine. That's nice to hear, ma'am, and I really hope that our day will end up a good one. So from this, I want you all to be informed that no one is forced to be in this video presentation. Everyone is voluntary, and of course, Atelus Upper mentioned that she will be supervising me, especially in handling the kitchen tools and equipment. So we already check everything here, equipments are doing fine, and tools are readily available, and of course, I have here the diet guide personally made for Atenus by the Davao Doctors Hospital, specifically from the Bariatric, Metabolic, and Weight Management Center. And the meal prepared were also based from the food exchange list from this diet guide so that we can follow the maintenance of our diet management. So, as scheduled, Atenus will be having her breakfast at around 7 a.m. The time right now is 6.30 a.m. and we have 30 minutes to prepare everything and I think we can start now. Are you ready at the loose? Yes. So let's start in 3, 2, 1. For the meat, we will be preparing a piece of an oven-baked cheesy garlic drumstick. And here, I am separating the thigh parts from our drumstick parts. We'll bake three drumsticks for my breakfast as well but we'll only serve one drumstick for this breakfast meal as you can see you really have to cut this nice and thorough and make sure to be careful especially in handling dangerous kitchen tools just like this knife So now, let us start by preheating our oven up to 200 degrees Celsius. After that, let's pour some oil and salt to our chicken. I am using a rice bran oil and based from research, it is rich in monounsaturated fatty acids and a component called arisenol both of which reduce overall cholesterol, it has anti-inflammatory properties, and hence is good for diabetics. Pinch some salt after and then mix the chicken, oil, and salt together with your hands or you can also use any kitchen tools if you desire. Fun fact, chicken can be a great option for people with diabetes and all cuts of chicken are high in protein and many are low in fats. When prepared in a healthy way, chicken can be a great ingredient in a healthy diabetic eating plan. After mixing all together, place your drumsticks to your oven tray approximately 2 inches apart and then just pour the excess liquid to your drumsticks on the tray. Open your oven and let this sit still for 20 to 30 minutes. While waiting for our chicken to be nicely baked, we can now prepare our boiled egg. Turn on your stove. Get your pan. Lower the heat. And then fill the pan with one half full of water. Up 
after that, get your egg and then place it inside and wait for approximately 8 minutes for it to be fully cooked. This is the result after 8 minutes of waiting. You can actually set this aside and prepare the other foods for this breakfast. For our fats, we will be preparing a 65 grams avocado, specifically 12.5 times 6.5 times 2 centimeters. And then let's cut this one in half and get rid of this large avocado seed. After, peel your avocado by using a spoon and you just have to get the inside part as a whole. Fun fact, they are packed full of vitamins, nutrients, and fiber. The low-carb, high-fiber ratio is great for blood sugar stability. The good fats in avocado can help you prevent diabetes complications like heart attack and stroke and help you use your insulin more effectively. So for the plating, we will try to make a figure of a fan. Just slice each part vertically and the more slices you get means the nicer our avocado fun can be. So after this, just spread each slice carefully using your knife and then set this one aside after. Now, let's check the status of our chicken. For our fruit, we have here a piece of banana. Just peel this one and slice it if you like, then you're good to go. Actually, bananas are a safe and nutritious fruit for people with diabetes to eat in moderation as a part of a balanced, individualized diet plan. A person with diabetes should include the fresh, plant food options in the diet such as fruits and vegetables. Bananas provide plenty of nutrition without adding many calories. After slicing, just set this aside and let's go back to our chicken. So now's the time to finish the oven baked cheesy garlic drumsticks. Think you can bite into a fried chicken leg if you have diabetes? Think again! The chicken drumsticks in this recipe are coated in a savory cheese and breadcrumb crust. They're oven baked instead of fried. Also, chicken drumsticks are higher in fats than chicken breasts. So be sure to balance your meal with low fat sides and drumsticks are still a great source of protein and much cheaper to buy.